Hello and welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip, I just kind of wanted to reminisce a little bit and share with you some of Joe's favorite gift items that uh, he enjoyed and loved to give. The first one I wanted to discuss is the Legend brush set. This is a Cheap Joe's own product. The Cheap Joe's Legend brush is actually made from 100% Kalinske sable with an all wood handle. And the nice part is that it is just a fantastic quality and for an unmatched price. The Legend brush sets though are even more um, accessible in that you get a variety of um, brushes and with the combined price you actually end up paying a whole lot less. This one is my favorite. This is the brush set 2 which combines flats and rounds together in an assortment and I love that variety. Um, you have <laughs> pretty much anything that you need in this and it is a wonderful price and an amazing gift. So if you have a really really serious artist in your life this is a go-to winner right here and just will last you a lifetime if you take care of them and stuff. So legends are a real a real wonderful gift. Um, then to a newer product um, this is new for us. This is a Chief Joe's product called Coda Markers. And if you have an artist that um, is a big fan of markers, you're going to really, really like this because this has, um, this is a very, very juicy assortment here, but we do have them in smaller wallets with more specific color assortments. There's a few dozen different varieties that you can choose from here. The cool part about the Codas is that they are an alcohol-based ink with a uniquely constructed brush nib and there's two dual tips on this. So there's a brush and then there's a nib on either end. And then the, the nibs are actually constructed to last a, a really, really long time and I played around with them and I'm not particularly experienced with markers. I know what I like and I know what I don't like. So it was a little bit of a stretch for me, but I found them to be really adaptable and easy to use. I am a big fan and they don't smell. So you're not going to have a whole bunch of like headachey feelings when you use these and the colors blend easily. They are wonderful to overlap and they're brilliant and strong and I just absolutely love them. So so new to Cheap Joe's this year, but an excellent gift. Joe was, you know, instrumental in, you know, the development and, you know, he was, he was very, very um, in charge when he wanted, um, you know, something new for all of you guys out there. So Coda markers, check them out. They are wonderful. And then this one's just a little stocking stuffery kind of thing. Um, we had these a couple years ago. And they have been out of stock, but they are back in now. And these are the Cheap Joe's Artist Tees. This is a different um, material than what we had. The other one that we had was like a gray heather that was kind of pebbly. And it was great, but it was kind of cut. <laughs> it's kind of cut for men. It wasn't cut for women. And this one is wonderful because all cotton, very, very soft, um, but it has a much more forgiving shape than the other one that we had. And I like it. And this one's in a kind of like blue. Check them out. This is a wonderful deal. And if you are a Cheap Joe's fan, this is a fun thing to have to wear around and show how much that you love Cheap Joe's. Then Kilimanjaro Black Watercolor Travel Journal. Okay. It goes this way, actually. Um, now, if you didn't know this, Joe loved to travel. And he also really loved taking a quiet moment to himself to jot down thoughts, you know, uh, write down an anecdote here or there, and just kind of <laughs> get some thoughts down on paper, but also would capture the landscapes and, and ca capture special things that he saw or foliage or, you know, something cool, a collection of rocks or whatever, whatever kind of uh, inspired him. And for a long time, he used uh, Aquabee, which I love and 
it's that's a very very great product but then he was like you know what this would be great because he was doing so many landscapes that it'd be nice to have like a landscape oriented uh one and this this sketchbook does come in two different sizes and 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 shapes um i really like this one and joe used this one a lot this is made of 25 sheets of kilimanjaro 140 pound cold press natural white and it is fantastic he used this once we got these developed all the time they were constantly around <laughs> there's still a mil million of them laying around uh, the building here that you know have all kinds of interesting stuff in them so um the kilimanjaro um black watercolor travel journal is just wonderful it goes great with like that artist strap you know that you can put your pens and pencils in because you can keep it closed and then have all of your stuff like at the ready so and then this one is a little bit smaller so for all of you plain air folks out there this is called the american journey voyager and this is the small tin that has the purity set in it and I don't know where the purity name came from, but it's got an assortment of six really great colors inside. Um, and it comes in this aluminum box. And it is great because it's portable, it's lightweight, but it has six full-size pans in there. So you can customize this however you like. We do have the, um, the replacement pans that fit in here that you can you know, put your tube color in, let them dry and create your own pans to customize this however you like. But this is a pretty strong assortment of things inside there, colors um, to cover pretty much whatever it is that you're gonna do. Um, there's ample mixing areas in the lid and also in, in this palette area. It is a wonderful buy and it's um, super sweet and we love it a lot. And you know, they're professional grade watercolor so you're not gonna go wrong, you're gonna have wonderful performance and lots and lots of um you know performance and availability with this little tiny nugget it's um a super great buy and we like it a lot so and joe did too the voyager small tin um great for traveling and making some art on the go um, and then the last thing, this, this product has been around for a very, very long time, and it was one of Joe's absolute favorites. Um, he loved to give these as gifts, and he would autograph them, and then also sometimes like write like cute little notes on the inside and send them to people. And if you have been the recipient of some of that kindness, um, feel very, very lucky, because it's a... It's a Thing that won't come around anymore sadly um, but this is the american journey um, canvas brush holder and it's a it's a nylon canvas so it's it's great you're you know if it gets wet it's not gonna like get weird on you and stuff like this but this has capacity to hold up to 20 short handled brushes so this is kind of designed for you know a watercolor brush or any kind of short handled brush uh, and stuff like that but it also um, it stands up on its own. Use the, the like Velcro closures to then um, uh, attach to the back. And so it, it's a freestanding unit. So you can also use it on the go, you know, if you're out somewhere and, and stuff like that. Um, what I will tell you is that if you are cleaning your brushes out um, and they are wet, do not leave them in there to dry. Like as soon as you get back to wherever it is that you were, take them out and make sure that they air dry outside of this thing because it's not good for the brushes or your brush holder. But this is a fantastic gift. It is a wonderful product. It's available in burgundy or this hunter green and they are both really, really cool. So we wanted to take a moment to share a little bit of this with you and, you know, give you a heads up for some good ideas straight from Joe um, as gifts for the people that you care about. And we hope that you enjoy. Thanks for joining us for another installment of Two Minute Art Tips right here at Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. We hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned a little something. If so, give us a like, comment with your thoughts and share with a friend. Subscribe below and don't miss a single two minute art tips and help us reach 150,000 subscribers. See you next time.